Several years ago, I had the opportunity to go to uh, the Karakoram Mountains of Pakistan, which are the second highest mountain range in the world. It's the home of K2. And it's, as a climber, it's one of the most spectacular regions in the world, huge unclimbed rock spires. But I went to the Karakoram with David Lama, who's a young Austrian Red Bull athlete. And I look back at that trip, and I think my favorite image was actually shot at our high camp. We were, we were climbing the Trango Tower. And at our high camp, which was at almost, at, oh, I would say 18,000 feet, I saw a photograph evolving. David and Peter had already carved out an ice cave where we were all going to be sleeping. But I could see the sun was setting over the Karakoram Mountains in the background. And as a photographer, I always like to say that there's this rule. It applies to filmmaking and photography. The more you suffer, usually the better the content. And, and that translates to if you're out early before sunrise or you're out late after sunrise, that's when the real magic happens. It's when everyone else is drinking coffee and it's when everyone else is having cocktails. If you're making pictures, that's when you're making exceptional imagery. And this photograph is exactly that. I saw the sun setting, it was really cold. I don't know if you've slept at 18,000 feet, but it, it's not very comfortable. You get a headache, everything's much more difficult, you can't think straight. And I was freezing watching these guys boiling tea, but I knew that if I waited another half an hour or an hour to allow the ambient light setting over the Karakoram Mountains to match the artificial light from their headlamps, I thought there might be a great opportunity for a photograph. And sure enough, a little bit of suffering, waiting for the ambient light to match that uh, artificial light led to making a pretty interesting photograph. I was traveling light and fast, so I was shooting on Nikon D600, 17 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens, and I was shooting very slow to try to get this light to match the background. Don't be afraid to shoot a lot of frames. Memory's cheap. Make sure you're suffering, and if you're suffering, you're probably making compelling images.